Hello and welcome my students troubleshoot mail flow in Microsoft Office 365 on the practice labs platform as you know in these videos we're going to cover some Microsoft projects and features and skills by utilizing the practice lab server and in this video we're going to do the same but before that let me show you your document your manual that you're going to follow throughout this project so this is your manual and this is the document that we're going to share you once you start these projects so here you can see all the steps are performed and well presented with the screenshots and with all the required detail that you should know to achieve that specific skill and here we already put it some notes so if you stuck anywhere so don't forget to read the notes because those notes really help you to understand the situation so this is the document and now it's time to move to the practice labs and as you know you are already learned how to use the practice lab server and which specific lab we're going to use throughout these projects and you already knew how to log into the portal so we're going to start from this point on our browser on the office c portal so let's move to the browser well you are quite clear how to log into the office c portal and once you log into the portal let's hold your mouse on the outlook and click to open your emails because we're going to come to the admin center just right after this part of your project and here we're going to initiate some test emails to check the flow of the email as for this test title indicates we're going to check the flow of the email before that we're going to do what we're going to make some emails some some testing messages some testing email to the unknown senders to check the flow and find out the errors so here on the outlook once you click to the new message here we're going to type the unknown domain and this is going to be our unknown domain and you can use whatever domain you want but if you go with the manual instructions and the manual items so it would be good and you will not waste more time in finding the unknown domain and the email now here on the subject we're going to type test email and in the same way we're going to type the body their JS JSS it is the test email and when you type this formality then click to the send and this email will go nowhere because you type the unknown domain that not even exist and wait for this NDR this message that tells you that the email is not delivered and let's check why if you click to the email oops it's deleted that let's click to undo and if you click to this email this message so here you're gonna find some reasons that why this email is not sent but as a regular user regular user or simple user will not understand that why the email is not going to this specific address why because somehow the user may mistype the address and that's tell that this is not exist but here you can see the dns domain all dot none does not exist so the answer is quite clear but how to monitor and how to track those sort of emails through the office 65 admin portal so let's look at that but here let me zoom out a bit to copy that information because this diagnostic information for administrator as it says because it's required to verify and investigate the whole issue but we are quite clear as we read the text and when you try to copy that thing here in the practice labs you will find that it will start disconnecting so you should give it a tour more try to copy unless you get successful in copying the text so let's try again and there you go 
we have done it and once you copy that I recommend you to open the new text document from here and paste that diagnostic information here and when you did that then we have to move to where our admin center which is here and it is still in progress to open so let's open it again on the new video and here's a link that we provided here in the document you can log on to that test connectivity.microsoft.com and this link does what it will analyze the header and give you the required information and it will help you to investigate the mail flow so here let's click to the message analyzer and here it can redirect us to this message header analyzer so here you can do what you can paste the specific diagnostic information that you just copied from the failed email and then you will get your answers because it's gonna analyze the header of this mail so let's copy it and let's right click here on this message header analyzer and paste that diagnostic information here and then click to analyze the header so here you can see that it analyzed already and on the other header it contained what that the alt.none does not exist so this is the specific and the foundational information that we required to understand the nature of the problem so we are clear and we understand that this domain is wrong and why this might be happened to you and why you need this specific header or analyzer because you may get a lot of queries let's say you get a ticket that my email is not getting to the point I, I, I'm able to send email to that specific email address so you will ask the user about the username and you can ask for this specific diagnostic information right or you can ask nothing nothing input from the user you can go where to the exchange and find out the last failed email in your domain and you just only need to know the email ID of that specific user then let me show you here a little so you will understand what I'm talking about so here on the admin center you can click to this navigation menu and here on the navigation menu we're going to click to show all and just scroll down and click to the exchange so it's going to take you where all the failed and other sort of emails the email that mostly stuck in destination to the server so you will find all those email at this point and if you click to the message trays under the mail flow so you will get all the failed email of your domain and you can further start some trace from here as well and if you click to the mailbox say so it shows you the email status the previous emails so in this way you can track any specific email and you can start the trace you can let's say select to all and just select fail on the delivery status and then click to search so it will give you all the field email of your domain and you can set you can customize this trace by providing a specific point of time a specific user so it's up to you now here at this portal you don't need to ask a lot of question to the user you just only need the user email id to start the trace and find out that specific email and then copy the diagnostic information from that email and paste where here in the testconnectivity.com so let's move to the test connectivity and let's do a quick little test again and here we find out the details of that email and it's time to send another email and this time the subject the two thing contain the right person but the email name the username might be not correct 
but you will find the domain is correct outlook.com is the right and the legit domain but you should use any email that is not exists but the domain should be legit the domain should be valid so here I'm gonna type the test email again and there they are GSS and this is another test email then click to send so in this case what's gonna happen because you have what the correct the valid domain but not what the well the, the invalid email ID so let's click to this email and let's copy its diagnostic information so if you scroll down and here's the message for you that the mailbox is unav unavailable why because the domain is correct definitely but there's no mailbox created in this name so let's copy this diagnostic information for the administrator and do this same thing with this detail here on this analyzer click to clear right click to paste control V analyze the header and you have the message that the mailbox is unavailable so here you can trace the email and we want to trace those specific email that we just sent so let's click to message trace and let's click to home back and again go to the message trace click to the start trace and here for tracing the message on the sender point you're going to use your email or the sender email and this should be specific to easily mark to easily find that email and recipients must be anyone so you you don't need to specify the specific recipient here then scroll down and make it to the day one because it is just the the story of your day and you just got the email you just got the ticket and we're going to select the delivery status to the fail because those emails got failed and then click to search and there you go it find out the day one emails because in the previous mailbox you have seen there it contained three or more email but right now it contained two why because you set your trace to the day one so here's you have the day one emails that are filled and you can click any of the email and copy the diagnostic information from here as well and then paste to this connectivity tester to verify what is wrong with the email and in this way if you're not using even the test connectivity thing here so you can easily understand from here the error contained the message that the mailbox is unavailable so in that case what what happened that in the first email you have what you have the, your email box your mailbox but you don't have the right email address even you don't have the the correct the valid domain of your destination whom you are sending the email but here in the second case you have what you have the valid domain but you do not have a valid mailbox that's why the email is not sent and how you track that you get a call you got some like a ticket you you would have that ticket that contain that my email is not sending or I'm unable to send the email to that specific email or to this destination and it is failing so you can come to here to the to your admin center go to the message trace select the fail delivery status and for your for your convenience you can type the specific user email on the sender and then you can track the email status and find out that what might be the problem with that specific email so that's how you can generate you can also generate the report from here so that's how you can do your little trace of mail flow and that's all about this project thanks for watching